Um, it, it just started. I understand it just started. Um, so I want to know how it has been going. Um, so how is it going? HR said that HR is not feeling well. HR is having, is having um, a bit of flu. Um, I'm doing good. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for asking. I'm doing fine. And um, today is a very uh, good day. Okay, it's a great day actually because I get to start my day um, to, by, by eating amazing breakfast. Alhamdulillah, teacher makan my favorite cereal. I had tricks for cereal, uh, I mean for breakfast. Um, and um, I had my coffee. And I also have had um, some time to, to watch some, to watch some um, videos um, online uh, and prepare myself uh, then I prepared myself for this class. So I want to know, how was it for you guys? What did you do in the morning? Yes, Mariam, I totally agree with you. Now, this is a, a very uh, special class for me. Um, why do I say it's special? Because I don't usually see you guys. I don't usually see you guys. Uh, and um, it, it is a... I wouldn't say a rare occasion, but um, I don't usually see you guys. And this time it's not in the form of webinar. And um, usually if I see you guys during your, your other seminars, we will either be in webinar or it's going to be a combined class. It's not just form two class. As you guys know, uh, this year I did not teach form two. And um, I was planning to be back. Um, teach by with teaching form two, sorry, inshallah next year. But till then, you dah uh, form three dah, can. So, however, whether I teach form two next year or not, I still will be seeing you guys when you are in form three because I teach form three. And uh, thank you so much for joining this class. And uh, thank you so much for asking your friends to come in. Before I proceed, let me just quickly introduce myself. Uh, I know many of you guys don't know me yet, okay? Because I haven't been in your, in your Form 2 Live for the past couple of months. So my name is Mariam. You guys can call me Miss Mariam Teacher. Mariam, anything that makes you guys feel comfortable, okay? Now, today we have a um, few of you guys who are celebrating your birthday. Uh, Fatih, is your birthday today? Uh, is your birthday today? Or is it, tomorrow, is it tomorrow or is it yesterday? So, was it yesterday? So, I'm going to just quickly sing everybody a birthday song. I'm just going to start with Fatih Najiha first because uh, it's her birthday. And then we are going to, you know, Try and sing to everyone else, okay? We're celebrating their birthday. So if you guys are ready, let's begin the class with some singing. Um, and before, before we start the lesson, I'm going to share with you what's, what's happening, okay? So don't worry. So in five, four, three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Fatih. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Fatih. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with tons of happiness, great wealth and health. Most importantly, happiness and health. Okay? Happy birthday, Fatih. Um, take care. And I want you guys to also um, pray for your friends, pray for yourself, uh, all the good things. Okay? Before I proceed to talk about uh, the lesson, let me just share with you what's happening when you are joining form three. Now, are you guys are you guys aware of what's happening? You're floating, God. I totally understand. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like I'm floating too. Durga, Durga, I I miss you. And uh, most of you guys, most of you guys, I, I've met you, most of you guys before. I I da pernah ganti mi class Miss Aina. I da I da pernah uh, aja yo masa yo form one. Uh, remember, masih you form one pun, kan? But some of you guys are new here. And um, don't worry about it. Okay, actually, you guys are not new. I am new. <laughs> because I'm not the one in teach uh, form two, right? You guys have always stick around in this class. And we also have those who are new in here, like totally new. Uh, by, by 
by then I will call, by by that I will call them new blessings yang baru masuk ilmu free for the very first time. Jadi jangan risau. I'm just going to set some ground rules. The first one is have fun. That's the first and major one. Have fun. Learning English, you kena have fun. Okay? Yes, I remember Faris when I replaced Miss Aina's class we talk about friendship. It was a fun class. It was a memorable class indeed. And um, talking about uh, having fun, English language is a subject yang kita rasa takut kadang-kadang. We're scared of language because we're learning new things, kan? And uh, learning new things is always scary. You know, when you get when you get this uh, gut feeling um, ataupun when you get this uh, butterflies in your stomach kind of situation, you rasa macam takut. Of course, lah, sebab butterflies in your stomach means you are scared. You're, not to say you are scared. Scared is not, not a, a proper choice of word. I say you are anxious. You rasa resah. Nervous. Even though you tahu. Kenapa? Sebab macam umu cakap, orang judge atau orang gelap. Ah, Siapa yang rasa dia pernah kena judge ataupun rasa orang pernah judge dia tapi dia tak tahu pun orang judge ke tidak ataupun orang memang betul-betul judge. Oh, my dear. I didn't know that you, there's just going to be so many of you guys say the saying the same thing. Miss, butterfly in your stomach bukan maksudnya blushing ke? Tak sebenarnya. Ah, that's a good question, my dear. Tak, not necessarily. Butterfly in your stomach is actually when you're feeling anxious. Now, kenapa orang cakap bila blushing je butterfly in the stomach? Okay, now, I'm just going to say this out. If you see someone, a friend of yours that you, that you kind of, Want to, want to get to know more. Okay, you know what I mean. You see your friend, you think, oh, eh, this friend of mine, I, I nak kawan dengan dia lah. I nak kenal dia lebih lanjut lah. Uh, I do not want to say the big C word. Uh, crush. I do not want to say the word crush, but I've already said it. But you guys are joining from three soon. So I'm just going to be blunt with you. That is butterfly in your stomach, kan? Kenapa you ada butterfly in your stomach? Because you're anxious. You rasa resah. Perasaan yang sama you akan rasa bila you nak bercakap atau bertutur in English. When you see your crush and when you <laughs> betul tu kiss. And when you see your examination paper, yeah, it's the same feeling. So it means that you actually like your English language, you know? To truth to be told. It's actually something that you like because you get excited too. It's just that you are nervous, you are overwhelmed. Terlalu banyak emotion at once. So, let me share with you ways on you can learn English better. Now, I was planning to, to show you guys uh, some cartoon. Okay, not some, maybe one type of uh, cartoon clip that you can learn English from. This is the video that I showed to your senior. Your form 4, form 5, abang and kaka. And um, as I was doing this, I, I know that this is my first time seeing some of you guys. Jadi, I want to get you closer to the English language so that you won't be scared. But before we proceed any further, I want to talk about your topic. Okay, so today we're going to be doing short communicative message. Very simple one, because I want to take time to do some Q&A. We want to talk about a little bit of tenses. We want to talk about a little bit of work and noun, and that's it. And it say you should spend about 25 minutes in this part. And then this is from Dania to Firas. And hey, Firas, the school holiday is just around the corner. Let's take up a class. I was thinking of joining a self-defense class or a cooking class. I believe something that we can do Sorry, we can add, actually, add, eh? we can add to our list of skills. Let me know what you think. Do you have any other suggestion? Now, diminta suggestion yang lain. Lepas tu, kita ada some vocabulary list yang Tica akan beri kejap lagi. So, you can just write it down. And then on top of that, we're going to talk about tenses in email. That's it. A very simple lesson. And then other Q&A session, I will open it up for you guys. So all the videos and stuff will be the, at the end of the lesson, okay? So are you guys ready to do this? Don't be scared of the English language. To those of you yang tadi cakap, teacher, I takut my friend judge me. I takut my friend cakap, I cakap English pun tak betul, tapi cakap English, patut dia gelap. You percaya tak kalau cakap orang pernah, orang pernah, um, I do not 
want to say marah, it's not marah actually. Orang pernah mengata, bukan mengata lah, poor choice of word. Speak ill of me. Um, say bad things about me, about my English, not about me, but about my English uh, by judging me. Okay, by judging me. Help me, thank you so much. I actually forgot, I've forgotten the word judging. Help me, Dato' Long Teacher. Eh? Uh, cakap tentang menghakimi teacher. Macam dia punya English lah yang terpaling bagus. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I'm going to be brutally honest with you because I have to. If I don't, if I'm not honest with you, I'm your teacher. I have to. <laughs> teacher kena bagi tahu the truth. I salah sebut perkataan yang simple yang kita rasa it's not in our native language which is bahasa. Kan? Bahasa kita, bahasa utama kita kan? Jadi kita tak tak bercakap perkataan tu tak familiar untuk kita in the language. And my friend has the audacity to correct me padahal dia pun sama je. Ha. Bukannya I nak speak ill of dia pula macam teacher pula judge dia kan? Bukan. Tapi my point here is I want you to know it's okay for you to make mistakes because you can always learn. But I appreciate that friend. I appreciate that friend. And of course I tell that friend of I say what are you doing? Why are you saying things like this? Because this friend of mine said to me, Alah, English tak, tak betul pun tak payah cakap lah. Tak payah try hard. Peluluh. My friend just asked me to stop trying so hard. I'm not trying so hard. I just mispronounced one word. Huh. Satu perkataan, I salah. Dah kena bash macam tu. So instead of dumping that friend, I confronted, then dumb that friend up. <laughs> That's a good idea, Kazarina. Yeah, great mind things alike, Kazarina. I decided to move on from that friend. I, I decided not to get close to that friend anymore because that wasn't just the one time. Many times. Sampai I nak buat public speaking pun dipandang I macam, boleh ke tu? <gasps> How could you? How could you do that to me? I mean, I'm not, I'm not the best, I know, but I'm trying, right? Same goes to everyone. We are not the best. We may not be the best yet, but we are trying, right? Trying is good. So keep on trying. But I have a secret to tell you. You are already the best. You just don't know. Okay? Work hard, yes. Forget the naysayers. Whatever they have to say bad things about you, forget them. You have a bunch of amazing people around you. All of your friends in here, uh, all of your many, many friends in here, they love you so much. They are very positive. They wake up so early to be in this class and they don't even think twice to speak English. So be that person. If you think twice, I will leave you. Teacher can bantu you. Okay? So don't worry. Tadi siapa yang cakap takut orang judge tu? Teacher pun pernah kena judge and I became an English teacher. Because I love the language so much. It's really fun, you know, to learn language. Kenapa dia macam ni? Kenapa dia macam tu? Why is the word like this? Why is the word like that? Ha, it's really fun. And um, I want you guys to always remember that people can say whatever they want. For example, um, Khadija, I can tell that Khadija, uh, you are green. You are green, Khadija. Betul ke Khadija green? Tak, she's not green. She's not green. Tapi kalau Khadija dengar, Khadija cakap, oh, I am green. So Khadija bagi teacher, Khadija allowed me to get in her head. So don't let people live in your head rent free without paying rent. No, 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 don't do that. Okay? Ah, Mulut tempayan ni nak Khadija cakap, mulut tempayan boleh tutup mulut orang, belum tentu lagi boleh tutup dengan senang. Okay? Maya Angelou one set. Ha, ada bagi dua wise person ni. Maya Angelou and my grandma. Dua-dua cakap benda yang sama. <laughs> Maya Angelou said, you cannot stop people. If you cannot stop people, if you cannot change people, you change yourself. You change how you look at it. Okay? So, dah banyak dah teacher baby-baby. Green is something like grumpy, right? Green is a, is a smile. 
It's a smile. It's a type of smile. Okay? Uh, greed can be a mischievous one, like an evil laugh, an evil smile. Mm, oh, that's an evil smile. How do you spell it? You spell G-R-I-N. Okay, now let's move on to the next class. I mean, the next part of the class. So today we want to start by writing email dulu. And email kita dah pernah tulis before. And uh, green is, is hijau. Tadi I cakap Khadija tu betul-betul green. Bukan nak cakap dia green lah. I, I'm talking about the color green. Uh, but your friend is asking about green smile. Uh, so green, uh, bukan yang cakap Khadija ada evil smile. Oh, janganlah. Khadija tak ada evil smile. She has the sweetest smile by the way. Yes, the smile is so sweet. Kan? Okay, jump kita continue. So what is it that we want? To, what about smirk? Smirk is um, not so evil, but it's going to be in a form of with a hidden, yeah, hidden agenda. Sinis, sarcastic smile. So we're going to learn all about smiles if we have time, okay? There are so many different types of smile. There are so many... Uh, senyum nakal pun boleh jadi juga. Ah, senyum nakal pun boleh jadi juga. Okay, suspicious smile. Scary one. <laughs> um, smirk, yes. And smiles, macam mana pula? Smiles. Smile with your eyes. <laughs> Ah, uh, smile and smile with your eyes. Okay, um, it's, it is a word. It is a word. Okay, now let's proceed with our email. Email senang je. Sorry guys, it's a baby lama lama eh, because it's very excited to see all of you. Alhamdulillah. So kita ada email. When you are writing email, semua sama. Okay, we call it as the, under the part one short communicative message. And berapa minit dia bagi? Dua puluh lima minit. So berapa marka? Dua puluh. 12 marks, eh 12 marks, 20 marks. Sebab teacher nak kecilkan sikit. So boleh jadikan tulisan teacher tak comel. Okay, 20. Apa saya tak boleh nak tulis ni? Something is not right with my pen. Guys, oh patutlah IP letak dekat pemadam. Memanglah tak boleh tulis. Apa dah masalah teacher ni? Okay, 20 minutes. Okay, you'll get 20 minutes. Now, Kenapa saya cakap 20 minit? Dia cakap 25 minit kejamnya teacher. Eh, janganlah lupa 5 minit for planning. Okay. Nah, berapa marka? 20 marks. Nah, boleh teacher cerita sikit tentang pemarkahan? Can I talk a little bit about that? Just a quick one, okay? So, under your email, there's this little thing called as your content marks. Okay, under your content, in order for you to get five marks, lima marka tau, content, you have to remember to do one thing, which is to answer all of the given question. That's it. Answer semua soalan yang diberi. All of the given questions. Okay? For example, I'm going to give you an example. Turun bawah. Okay, apa soalan yang diberi? Dia cakap dekat sini. Hey Firas. Ah, content is zero, mark will be zero. Not really, actually. Alicia, I will share with you the secret. Ah, kalau terlepas, masih dapat jawapan, dapat answer juga. I will share with you. Okay? Now, dia cakap let's take up a class. Dia minta a class. That's the first thing yang dia minta. And then, dia cakap dia nak join self defense or cooking class dia nak something to add to the list of skills do you have any other suggestion so basically how does the question read to us eh? so question for content apa yang diminta sebenarnya jom kita tengok sama-sama number 1 diminta an activity sorry a class Plus reason. Okay, itu yang dia minta sebenarnya. Tapi tak nampak kan yang dia minta. Tapi dalam-dalam dia sebenarnya everything yang dia minta, dia minta sebab. Number two. Dia minta. What is it yang dia minta? Dia minta suggestion kan? Ha, this one lah. Memang suggestion. A class and a reason. Lepas tu, besides dia minta a class and a reason, kita minta, kita bagi one sahaja. Okay, we just give one. 
So, dia cakap, I believe there's something that you can do to add of your list to our list of skill. So, talk about the skills in the class. Apa yang you akan gain kalau you join? Alright, and where can your friend join? Additional point, cakaplah where, when, and with who we can join. Ah, benda-benda yang sampingan, just a little bit. Ah, bagi details, these are what we call as details for the class. Usually dia bagi basic ones. Kalau tapi kalau nombor tiga dengan nombor dua tak cakap pun tak apa. Yang paling penting adalah a class and the reason. Dekat sini dah banyak dah reasons more than one. Okay, sebab dia cakap, let me know what you think. So that is what you need to right? This one is optional. Yang optional, dia cakap letak star, boleh? Apa real star here? Optional lah. Maknanya tak perlu pun tak apa. Ah, uh, Perhaps add an idiom. Yes. Um, Joel, we can add an idiom. Later, we're going to do that. Okay, it's going to be amazing. I'm going to teach you how to add fun idioms. Followed by the teams. Auni, you're so cute. <laughs> I was shocked for a while there. And then I saw a potato talking on a speaker. <laughs> on a microphone. Yeah, that's really cute, by the way. Okay, so clear on this? So we're going to answer the question later. Let's take a look at the next one. So content done. Agak-agaknya dah dapat dah five marks. Apa? Najmi sekarang dah dapat lima markah, dia happy dah. Okay? So, sekarang kita proceed on to the next one. Aiden okay, Aiden? By the way, Aiden, I think I think tadi you said something kan? You said that you learn English through game kan? Uh, I agree with you, Aiden. Uh, I wanted to to reply to that, tapi dah dah terlambat pula kita baca. Okay. Um, that is one way to. Jadi, we're going to watch a video together on how you can learn English. Huh? So, let's see. Content. Selain daripada content, Apa lagi? Dia nak communicative achievement. Ini pun penting, my dear. You need to have communicative achievement. Takutnya nama dia. You know, back when I was your age, kan, I tend to get scared with fancy English words. But as I grow older, I notice that ah, uh, it's not that fancy actually. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You will get there. Okay? But sooner than I did. Sooner than I did, I promise. Because I'm going to teach you. Now, communicative achievement. Apa maksud dia? You want to achieve certain communication skills. I mean, certain target audience. You not achieve what you are supposed to give to your audience. So, siapa target audience kita? Uh, who's our target audience? Our friend. Our family. Get informal, kan? Ah, very informal. Even if you're writing to your teacher, kalau content dia adalah informal, you have to go informal. Informal ni macam mana teacher? Dia macam cakap dengan member. Cakap, hey, hi, how are you? You okay? How's everything going? Ah, dia macam very chill, ah, very relaxed tone. Tidak formal. Maknanya tak professional. Ah, betul tu, Echa. Jadi, we want to talk about things that is very Personal. Ah, we will have to be friendly. Very good, Auni. We have to be friendly. How to be friendly? Kita gunakan perkataan-perkataan yang sound more friendly to be compared to words like dear. Can we say dear Raja Kazrina? No, we say hey Kazrina, how are you? We do that. Dear tu macam you WhatsApp and we check dear tak? You tell me the truth na. Really, right? Huh. Cakap hi je, hi. I hope you are well. I am so excited. Do we tell our principal that we are excited they call us to join some event? Uh, so let's say your principal cakap, Masita, uh, I want you to join um, a public speaking competition and you will have to represent Malaysia. Will you be excited? Of course. But will you say, oh my God, I am so thrilled. You are so awesome for making this happen to me. You don't reply to your principal like that. You say, dear Madam Principal, I am truly honored 
to be given such amazing opportunity to be here with everyone and representing my my nation. Napa tak beza? Bayangkan you cakap Shaza. Shaza, I am truly honored to be given the opportunity to join a class to take up a class tak nak cakap take up pun dah dia cakap to join take up ni lebih informal tau join tu lebih lebih formal i am so honored shaza to be given such amazing opportunity to join a class i believe we must not forget the importance of taking a good care of ourselves hence dear we should take self defense class oh lama member macam i don't want to ask whether this is an honorable thing or not it is i know but because i'm your friend but why are you speaking like this kan kawan dia akan question kan how do you whatsapp your friends Okay, send me a WhatsApp now, everybody. Send me a WhatsApp, not to say WhatsApp lah. Send me a chat as if it's on your WhatsApp. Uh, tell me, uh, ajak I pergi tengok movie. Uh, ajak I pergi tengok movie sekarang. Macam mana? Uh, ada yang dah hantar, weh, kau buat apa? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so cute. Weh, jom pergi wayang. Weh, jom wayang. Weh, jom tengok movie. Weh, jom. Hey, free this weekend. Wayang, jom. Jom, wayang. Wayang, jom. You nak ajak wayang pergi tengok wayang ni nak ajak I. You cakap wayang jom. <laughs> Do you want to watch a movie together? Mega Mato jom. Ah free ya wayang jom. Kau free ya. Day wayang satu ni. Wah lagi apa? Wah dah syak eh. Wei movie jom. I'm I'm reading eh. I'm not saying this to you. I'm reading it. Wei parents kau bagi keluar tak? Ah uh-huh, I like that. Eh. Muka di mana parents punya permission dulu. That's good. Aku lanja ni. Let's go movie kat my town. Weh, kau free lah ni. Let's go for movie weh. 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 Mu nak pergi jalan tau. Okay. Apa lagi? Jom lah. Lagi apa? Kenapa banyak weh? Kenapa banyak weh ni eh? Ini betul-betul WhatsApp ni. Ha, Ini betul-betul. Ini betul-betul WhatsApp ni. Oi weh. Kan? Actually, teacher pun hantar we. Tapi teacher punya we is W-E-H. We. <laughs> we, mana? <laughs> Itu I punya soalan. We, mana? I always send that message to my sister. We, mana? <laughs> Kau nak belajar waya ni. Ah ha, Mana? Kan? Ah ha, Mana I pun ada juga. Mana? My brother use that. Is it, is it some... Some younger generation kind of thing. Manoy. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know that. Gen Z stuff. <gasps> oh my God, I feel so young chatting with my brother using all the Gen Z words. <laughs> like, oi, Manoy. Oh my God, I feel so young. Ah, I feel so young. Teach me more so that I can, I can impress my brother that I am young too. <laughs> Millennial is... Um, Is, is those my age? Okay, are those my age? And Gen Zs are you guys? So I'm gonna use words like slay. <laughs> mano itu macam woi mano. Ah, combination. I baru tahu eh. Ah, my brother selalu guna, tapi I baru tahu. So nampak tak cara you cakap tu niat you tu very informal kan? I like that. So everybody give yourself a huge round of applause for being yourself, for using all the way woi. And words that you are comfortable with. So I want you to do the same, but not exactly the same. I'm not asking you to use way di sini. Kerja lagi tu juga kena kena tarik tarik lesen mengajar. <laughs> Kalau you guna way di dalam ni, cannot use way. Please don't. But I'm just telling you, you get the idea of it. Okay, so get informal, get chill. So you stay. The 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 word way is actually a slang. You cannot use them. So you have to use hey instead. You're using hey, you can use hi. So that is going to make it under your communicative achievement, make everything sound informal. Okay, nada yang lebih relax. Tone means relax. 
So you can talk about it in terms of uh, chill and friendly. Uh, we like friendly too. Things are very friendly. professional. Nothing professional here. We don't want professional. And how else you want to sound informal? You can always use two things. Number one, what is it? Not sound informal. Contraction. Excellent. Kita gunakan contractions. Contractions memberi maksud the mashup words ataupun dalam perkataan lain kita panggil dia sebagai short form. So contoh contraction, can't. I'm afraid I can't go with you. Okay? Um, besides that, can is for cannot. It's. I'll. I'm. We are. Okay? Here. So ini adalah contractions. So the moment you guna contractions, banyak marka. Ding, 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 ding. So I. Firstly, secondly to apa miss? Kalau firstly, secondly to we call it as ah, that one is also important. That one is your linkers, your cohesive words. Jom kita tengok. So, ada tak dia cakap? Let's take up a class. So, mana contraction yang dia pun pakai? Dia pun pakai guys. So, let's take up a class. I was thinking, I believe we can. Ah, dia tak, dia tak, yang dia punya tak banyak lah. Do you have any other suggestion? Okay. So, bila you nak start, you kena guna perkataan like I'll sama dengan I will and many more. Okay? So, instead of using that. So, that with the informal tool, very simple. Number two, done. Number three pula sekarang. We want to talk about your language. Ah, ni panjang sikit. Language ada dua. We have grammar. And vocabulary. Let's start with grammar. So under your grammar, you have to use compound plus a little bit of complex sentence. Tak guna complex pun tak apa. Compound basic pun okay. Okay. Number two, proper tenses. Now, what are the tenses used in your email, English email? Ah, boleh, 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 Salim. Ah, what are the type of email tenses? We want to talk about something that's happening in the future. So, of course, kita ada apa yang jadi dekat present tense. Dengan future tense. Now, I will be coming with you. Okay? Ah, so that's how we use it. So construction, contraction, my dear. Contraction, we call it as uh, contraction. It's only for email. Yes, correct. Only for email contraction, yeah? Email je yang informal. Yang lain tak informal macam email. Email yang terpaling chill sekali. <laughs> I love email. So easy. Okay? Now, compound complex sentences, proper tenses, present tense, future tense. Past tense ada ke? Past tense. Tak ada sangat sebenarnya. There's no, not much for you to talk about past. Unless you want to say things that you reminisce in the past. You want to talk about memories. For example, you want to say, Aiden, do you remember back when we were younger, we used to join dance competitions in primary school. Okay, back in primary school, we used to join. Dulu, sekarang dah tak join dah. Ah, cakap benda-benda macam tu. And then Aiden said, yes, I remember. Okay? Now, moving forward, macam mana lagi nak cakap? Take up class, self-defense. Kenapa you nak take up self-defense? Maybe you nak cakap, there's this one time, you tunggu, bas sorang-sorang, you takut. Ah, remember, back when we were in primary school, we both waited, we both waited for our parents to pick us up and we were really scared back then. So I believe to reduce the anxiety in us and to feel more protected, we should take up a self-defense class. You see what's happening? We should take up. That is in the form of a statement. I believe we can take up a self-defense class. I believe we should 
join, we should join a cooking class because it is something that we need. As we both know, we cannot cook. <laughs> so that's how we put it. Okay? So nampak tak di present tense? So, benda tu nak tengah cakap pasal benda yang statement, benda yang fakta. Jangan lagi kita cakap share in detail. So, compound dengan complex sentences ni, you dah tahu, you have done this before. And um, compound sentences are when you letak fanboys. Okay? So, compound is fanboys. Okay, I'm going to share a little bit with you regarding fanboys. So, kita ada for and nor but or yet. So, okay, ni adalah fanboys lah. Maknanya semua perkataan yang kita combine menggunakan fanboys. I mean, semua sentences. Complex sentences ni, dia lebih kompleks. Kita gunakan because, however, and things like that. So, can I use contraction in formal message, teacher? Cannot. Only in formal. Unfortunately, you cannot. Okay? Now, another word, another thing to make your, your essay informal, kan? How to make it informal? You can also add phrasal verb. Uh, contoh phrasal verb is your take up. Go off. Put up. Okay? Ah, itu pun another thing to make it more informal. Instead of joining, you say take up. Terus dia jadi very relaxed tau. You water down your rigidness. That's how we do it. Okay? It's very easy. And trust me, if you use this, full marks. Full marks. I'm not kidding you. Full marks if you use this method. Okay? Nah, kemudian kita naikkan. Dan? Dan kau bring it. By the way, answers will be given, eh? so don't worry about it. So, we have grammar. Grammar done. If you make mistakes, for example, if Alicia writes amazing essay, amazing email, mashallah, and she forgot to use proper grammar. She forgot to use proper grammar. What will happen? Okay, let me just make a correction. This is or. Or eh? not all V. Sorry, bad handwriting. So, for example, how is it? So, I'm just going to show you another example. Okay, you have to use proper grammar with minor error. Error di sikit je. Error di sikit je. So, how is it going to be like? Contoh eh. Hey, Alia. I can't wait to join you on such amazing school holiday plan. I love Going, I love cooking. Apa yang salah dekat sini? I love cooking. You see subject for agreement, kan? Okay? Supposed to be I love. Tapi dekat sini dah salah sebab the S dekat sini. Nah, dapat kotak marka ke? Tak. Let me tell you a secret. Ha. Sebab satu je, sikit je. Your teacher still understands what is going on. But don't do this. Okay? Now, let's take a look at the next one. Apa lagi yang kita tak letak kat sini? I can't wait to join you on such amazing school holiday plan. I'm still okay. To join you for will be better. Kenapa salah? Kenapa I love? So, ini adalah kita panggil sebagai subject verb agreement. Eh? Jadi, kita akan share a little bit. I, plural. I ni special. So, dia plural. So, sebelah dia tak boleh tambah S. I mean, sebelah dia verb dia tak boleh tambah S. Kalau singular, contoh Aiden. 
Aiden plays video game. Okay, Aiden plays video game every day, for example. Every weekend lah, every weekend lah, every day lah. Okay, every weekend. So, they play video game. Itu beza dia. Aiden, example lah. Eh? Plays video games. They play video games. Nah, nampak tak apa beza? Place, play. Aiden singular, ni plural. Ni adalah singular, ni adalah plural. Clear tak? Ah, itu beza dia. Remember eh? So, this is your subject verb agreement. Kalau salah sikit tak apa. Tapi jangan salah banyak kali. Ya, <laughs> teacher dah cakap boleh. You salah je. Tak hisap apa, tak nak belajar lah. Kita cakap tak apa. Ah, S is for singular, betul? This is singular. This is plural. Aiden is singular. Day is plural. Place, play. This is subject. This is verb. Singular subject yang banyak. Contoh. My cats. My cats banyak kan? My cats play. Okay. My cats play. Tapi kalau my cat. Please. Okay? One cat. Ha. So, dah sini dah banyak. Sini tak nak ada S lah. Sini tak banyak. So, kena lah S. Dia balance dia dah. Kalau tak, kita nak sebut. My cats, please we support. Tak boleh. <laughs> tak cukup nafas. Seperti English buat rule macam tu. Biar bagi tahu you kenapa dia buat rule macam tu. Dia tak cukup nafas. Ha, penat nak cakap. Kan? Sebab tu dia macam tu. Di conjugation dia. Betul. You rasa teacher macam main-main tapi betul. <laughs> Ada yang cakap ya-ya yeah, yeah, je teacher ni. Betul lah. Ha, dah, dah copy dah? Saya nak tengok. Tiba-tiba sakit pula perut. Ah, Tiba-tiba dia sakit perut pula. Tapi okey lah. Sakit perut sebab excited. You excited tak ni? Are you excited? Please tu kata kerja kan Miss? Ya kot. Ching. Subject. Eh, jom our next session kan. Our next session we talk all about verb. Ha, we talk kali lebih buat grammar kan. Kita buat aktiviti sampai you rasa penatnya hari ni. Ya. Hari ni pun you penat juga. Tapi kita akan buat. Yes, betul. You join. You join Faris. Masya Allah. Faris, I know you were there. Thank you so much. Okay. Jom nanti ya, next lesson. I kena double check balik. Saya lemah dekat grammar ni. Why video games need S? Ah, maknanya dia play, play variety of video games. Dia bukan play one type of video games. Kalau you want to talk about one video game, then you say play video game. Okay? So that's how you put it. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. So clear? Communicative achievement dah, language dah. Language doesn't just stop here. Eh? Language ada lagi banyak detail yang kita kena tahu. Nama lagi satu adalah vocabulary. Ah, Vocabulary dalam language juga. Choice of words eh? So kena ikut Thematic Vocabulary Ikut tema eh? Kena bertema Organization pula ada ke teacher? Ada, ada So ini kita baru talk about one Two Three Four Four je lagi kita talk Sekarang baru three, number three eh? Vocabulary Thematic vocabulary. Kita nak cakap take up class kan? Ha, let's say cooking class. Ha, apa tema yang melibatkan? Activity or hobby. Apa yang melibatkan? Ha, skills, perkataan skills. Perkataan join. Perkataan participate. Learn new things. It's going to be beneficial. Okay. We can learn um, leadership. Kata-kata uh, ni lah. What is it that is related to it? So, kalau you want to talk about camping. Uh, cakap lah perkataan yang melibatkan camping. Camping trip kan? Uh, so, what you should you bring to a camping trip? Uh, you should bring flask, torchlight, flashlight. Adventure, food, 
Ha, this one fee jangan lupa. Ha, nearby. Okay. Ha, ni semua perkataan-perkataan yang related. Kalau camping trip slash torch light, adventure, food, teamwork. Ha, ni semua thematic. Karangan yang berdasarkan tema. Everything is based on theme, you know guys. Nanti masa you masuk form 3, you will get new textbook. Dah hampir textbook baru belum lagi kan? You haven't actually. Your new textbook is going to also be amazing. Uh, form 3 textbook is also one of my favorite. It's going to be fun. Okay? Belum lagi, next year you're going to take it. Uh, it's going to be no, no longer Pulse. Use, you're using Pulse 2 now, right? And the new one is going to be another type. Okay? So it's going to be fun. Don't worry about it. It's called Close Up. We call it Close Up. Okay, now, I, I'm teaching essay right now. Eric, coming soon, coming soon. Okay, these are thematic vocabulary to get. Uh, we call it as Close Up. The name of the textbook. Okay, now. Let's take a look at the next one. Thematic vocabulary done. So, ini dah dapat marga. Remember when people say, use domestic words. Ini dah domestic dia. It's not that domestic, right? You just have to be accurate. Yeah, just kena guna karangan, I mean, vocabulary yang tepat. Tu saja, ikut group dia. Okay, now. Done with vocabulary. Another thing, uh, you can add some idioms. Okay, you can use some idioms in the vocabulary. It would really help too. The idioms based on health idioms, mood idioms, happy mood, sad mood. Okay? So, goodbye idiom, ataupun farewell idiom. I have to go now. Okay? That's it. Our, our example. Example of health idioms. Eh? This is very simple. I hope you are as fit as a fiddle. This is I hope you are well. Okay? I hope you are in a pink. I hope you are well. I hope you are in excellent shape. That is going to be wellness as well. Okay? And we call it as wellness. I'm sorry to hear that you are under, you're feeling under the weather. Under the weather is psychic. Tak sihat sangat. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I'm feeling a little bit sick today. Nah, so, kita gunakan idiom macam ini. So, it's going to make it more delighted for people to read. Delightful for people to read. Now, Let's move on to the next one. If you are done, can I write it? Can of course, of course. So, um, help idiom one, help idiom two. As fit as a fiddle, you can change it to. This is wellness, eh? So you can say, in a pink of help. In the pink, pun boleh. In the pink of help, pun boleh. Dua dua pun boleh, eh? In excellent shape. As fit as fiddle, though that that one. I hope you are as fresh as daisies. Okay? Yes, we do get marks if you use idiom. I hope you are glowing in prosperity. I like that, Fatima. Glowing in prosperity. Okay, prosperity luck. Again, luck means luck. Uh, what about farewell? Saying goodbye. Saying goodbye, I have to go now. Instead of saying I have to go, you can say I have to bounce. Okay, so this is wellness. Kalau farewell, we're going to give you some. Don't worry, we have time. We have to answer. But essay to sekejap je kita tulis nanti, ya? Okay, jom. Help. And another one is, um, tadi siapa minta farewell, farewell kan? Tapi say goodbye lah kan? Farewell is very, very simple. I have to go. So, instead of saying go, you change it to, I have to bounce. 
I have bigger fish to fry. I have more important things to do. Okay? I have to um, pay off. Okay, so simple. I have to go, I have to bounce, I have bigger fish to fry. Kalau you nak cakap, I'll meet you at the dock. I'll be waiting for you by the dock. Uh, itu lebih kepada tunggu. I'll be waiting for your reply. Okay, I have to sleep. I have to hit the sack. I have to sleep. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, clear? Macam ni lah kita gunakan end my message. Yeah, this is for you to end your message. Farewell means to say goodbye. To bid adieu. To say bye-bye. I'm going now. Talk to you tomorrow. Teacher ni akan ada dalam apps ke? Certainly it will. Okay, jom. Kita tulis essay. Well, I don't want the class to end. I want to stay longer. What is the meaning of farewell? Farewell means saying goodbye. Okay, jom tengok yang atas lagi sekali. Yeah? So are we done here? Yes, we're almost there. So we have content, answer all of the given questions. Do you take a screenshot? One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, Joe. Here's yeah, that one. One, two, three, four. Now, last but not least, we talk about organization. Ni yang terpaling senang lah. How many paragraphs are there? Three paragraphs. La la la, three paragraphs. Only three, don't worry about it. So, one is introduction. One is content. And one is ending. Okay, I'll show you the example, don't worry. And then, gunakan cohesive devices ataupun linkers to glue your sentences together. Okay, kalau part tu berapa paragraph? Part tu pun three to four. Ah, this one three. Yang part tu three to four. Part two, four to five pun boleh juga. Tapi, you stop at three pun cukup. Okay, so don't worry about that. So, contoh cohesive devices. Also, next. Simple ones, eh? Tak perlu guna yang banyak-banyak. Uh, on top of that. Tambahan pula, eh? Besides. Finally. Lagi? First. Uh, apart from that. Nak tambah sikit lagi, hence, therefore, boleh itu eh. So, macam tu. Okay, uh, the basic ones, yang simple-simple macam ni. That's it. One, two, three. Okay, macam ni nak guna hands. Okay, contoh, I bagi contoh, don't worry, I give you contoh. Okay. That's a brilliant plan. Alia. Okay. We must first find the best spot. Need to just tell you, Then. Get our gears ready. Besides, it is important for us to ask permission from our Parents, contoh eh?
So you don't have to make it in the beginning. We must first find the best spot, then get our gears ready. Besides, it is important for us to ask permission from our parents. It'll be fun. Hence, I cannot wait to see you soon. Okay? Ah, uh, dia macam therefore. Hence ni adalah macam so. So I cannot wait to see you. It'll be fun. Okay? So I cannot wait to see you. Only itu. Hence adalah only itu. Jadi. Ha. Hence adalah jadi sebenarnya. Okay? Miss, nanti kita belajar yang letak kat huruf. Yang letak huruf tu boleh? Boleh. Letak huruf yang macam mana, my dear? Yang ini ke? Yang yang ni ke? Oh, get text. Saya ingatkan kita tengah cakap letak huruf yang ini. Get text boleh, boleh. Okay, can, can of course. That's a brilliant plan. Ini, ini contoh je, bukannya jawapan kepada kita punya. Eh? Is it okay kalau tak buat paragraphing? Okay je sebenarnya, tapi it's not going to give you proper organization. Alright, and that's it you need to do. What kind of cartoon you say earlier? You want to extend the class for another five minutes? I don't mind. You have class after this? Don't have class? Okay, jump, jump, jump. Kita extend sikit. I'm going to show you a video. Pukul tiga next one, eh? Okay, it's going to be amazing. 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 Ini contoh untuk gunakan penanda wacana. So, hands kita ada, kan? So, uh, that's a brilliant plan. We must first find besides. I need to tell us all that it sets, but you know. Okay, so yeah. That's how you guna kan penanda wacana. So jangan risau, it's going to be amazing. So give me two minutes, okay, to talk about the next one, but kita nak tengok video. So, lepas ni you dah tahu dah macam mana nak buat. Senang kan? So, macam mana nak senangkan lagi hidup kita, kita gunakan jump pen. Kenapa I gunakan jump pen? Maybe you have heard of this before. You dah pernah dengar ada teacher bagi jump pen. So, jump pen. Dia ada semua benda yang kita dah bincang tadi. First, you start with greetings. Greetings is paragraph one. Okay? Ah, masa teacher replace Miss Aina punya kelas, I dah bagi tahu kat some of you. Tapi we have new friends in here as well. So, jom kita bincang sikit dengan our new friends. So, greetings je kita cakap hi, hey, hello. Tu je. Kita cakap, I hope you are well. Remember, I say tak nak well, tukar jadi benda lain. Okay, yang tadi teacher dah beri. Lepas dah greetings kan? The first G is done. Kita move on to the second G. The second G will be emotion. Very good. Ramai yang ingat. Eh? Paragraph 1 juga. Still paragraph 1. Eh? Naik atas. Emotion kita nak cakap apa? I'm so happy. Ataupun I'm over the moon. Yang teacher letak. Double line macam ni, you can change it to in the idioms. Eh? I'm so happy. I'm so thrilled to join you. Okay? Letak idioms. Right? Happy idioms. Lepas tu, dah settle emotion, kita pergi dekat R. R ni yang paling penting. Eh? The most important one of all. Number three. Paragraph number three. Eh, paragraph number two. Kita respond. With the question plus the reasons. This is paragraph two. Nah, ni yang panjang, the longer one. Okay, answer the given question. Answer the given question. So, macam mana kita cakap? Terus cakap, I believe. Terus lompat je. I believe we should. I think we 
must. Jadi, we should, terus jam, we should take up apa? Okay, lepas tu jangan lupa the reason. Because, as, since, memandangkan. Because adalah kerana, as adalah kerana, sebab, as adalah sebab, since adalah memandangkan. Okay, tu je, senang kan? Lepas tu, kita naik atas balik. M. M kena motivate. Your friend is asking for your opinion. Of course, you kena motivate dia. You kena cakap, hey, we will have fun. Don't worry. Okay? My idea is going to be brilliant. So, you cakap dekat your friend benda tu. Number four, motivation. This is the paragraph akhir dah. This is the final paragraph. Paragraph three. Okay? So, you say, I can't wait. It will be fun. Pun boleh idiom. We will have a wheel of time. Okay? Pun boleh idiom juga. Number five, you pen off. Pen off ni one word, eh? Paragraph three juga. Macam mana pen off? You say goodbye. I have to go. Pun boleh tukar. Jadi, I have to bounce. I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Lepas tu, jangan lupa salutation. Love, Mia. That's it. You are dead. Dah faham tak? Full marks. Full marks. Guna jempen. All the pelik-pelik punya benda yang teacher tak adalah pelik. All of the things that teacher mentioned above tadi tu, uh, it's very important. So remember the tenses that we use adalah present tense and also future tense. No past tense unless it's really necessary. So the next time I see you, kita ada two more minutes. So kita tengok video kejap. Eh? Boleh ya? Eh? Dalam answer nanti teacher akan bagi the full answer. Okay, I want you to try and give it a shot. I'll give you the full answer. Don't worry about it. Maknanya jawapan ni akan ada lah. So try and do it on your own. Sekarang tu I rasa you dah boleh cuba buat. Eh? We can say, Hey Firas. Eh kita Firas. Kita lupa. Dania. Tak boleh ni ada di Dania. Dania. Salah orang. So from Dania. So kita kita bagi tahu. Hey Dania. I'm so glad that we are taking up a class during our school holiday. I believe we should certainly join a cooking class. This is because you know how much we've always wanted to learn or top up our cooking skills or add on to our cooking skills. Or you can also say, you know how much we love cooking. Or you know how long we have been wanting to cook professionally. We are food lover. We are a foodie therefore this is the best way for us to learn cooking and add or add it on to our list of skills you can do that too okay lepada cakap i know an amazing class that we can join or i know an amazing class that we can take up it is located in the mall nearby our house we can do it together. The fee is not very expensive. It's quite reasonable. And we will definitely make our dream come true to become the world best chef. If that is what you want. Okay, just say things like that. Moving forward, let me know what you think. Boleh cakap balik, tapi tak cakap. Let me know what you think pun. I have to bounce now. I will talk to you soon. Let me know how it goes. Or... We can discuss with our parents and get back to each other soon. Goodbye. Sorry, before that, I know it will be fun. Goodbye. That's it. Senang tak? Itu je, 80 batang perkataan. Omo. I think 90 tadi, teacher dah cakap. Okay? As simple as that. Don't worry, I'll give it to you. Now, uh, tak sempat tengok video tak apa, kita teacher bagi you the, the link, eh? the link of cartoons yang you boleh tengok. And then the next time I jumpa you, Kita boleh talk about it. Okay, jom. 
So I want you to watch Kampung Boy. Uh, this is something that I watch with your seniors. Eh? Look for the English version. I usually watch it on YouTube. Okay, they have it on YouTube. Look for the English version or English dub. Okay? Now, kenapa Kampung Boy? Kenapa I tak bagi tahu kartun lain? Because Kampung Boy, dia dekat dengan kita. Dia cerita pasal our tradition. And dia cakap pasal perkataan-perkataan yang kita locally use. Correct. For example, they are wearing sarong. Okay, they wear sarong. The parents wear sarong. Kalau you tengok international cartoon, like American cartoons or British cartoons, they won't tell you what sarong is. You don't know what is sarong dekat dalam bahasa English. is actually sarong. Same thing. Durian. Parang. Kalau nak buka durian pakai, parang. Kita panggil apa parang? We call it as machete. Kalau kita tengok dekat dalam cartoons yang berbeza, um, yang bukan Malaysian cartoons yang bertutur dalam bahasa Inggeris, it's harder for us to find these new words related to us. Because when you are doing essay in English or when you're learning English, you need to get closer to your language. I mean, to your to our culture. We want to know what they call uh, biryani. We want to know what is what they eat. Do they eat dosa? Do they eat uh, raita? Do they eat um, all of the amazing food that we eat in Malaysia? Okay, we want to know what is banana leaf rice all about. So we want to share all these things. Barulah dia dekat dengan kita. Okay, and that is going to make English more fun. Dia cakap, oh, dia panggil macam tu rupanya dalam bahasa tu. Okay, it's going to be fun. So the next time I see you, we'll talk about grammar. I'm planning to give you a grammar marathon. Uh, important ones, of course. And uh, please check our timetable. We still have lessons together. And I'll prepare you to join Form 3 without any butterflies in your stomach. It's going to be a fun kind of butterfly. It's not going to be a zoo in your tummy kind of situation. Okay? It's going to be on Thursday. Thank you so much, Wafa. It's going to be on Thursday. So I cannot wait to see you guys again. And I would like to say thank you so much for being in here. Thank you so much for making this class happening. It doesn't feel like an hour. I wish we have more time okay so the next time i see you we're going to continue to talk about all the fun things in your grammar so take a good care of yourself uh stay healthy stay safe and stay cute i'll see you soon assalamualaikum thank you for your effort today you will make it i'll be praying for you i'll see you soon take care assalamualaikum love y'all bye bye